Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Your hanker said that you might be able to advise. A disease, you say? How intriguing. Yes, yes, it's very interesting, but can you help these people? I can't say at this point. I need to find out a little more. Tell me, has the whole village come down with it? No, I mean, not yet. Several households have, around half the village. Mehoyed? Isn't there a stud farm there? And what of the animals? Did they get infected too? Yes, there's a stud farm. And they've all died off. The horses, the cattle, chickens, and now it's got to the people. That is most intriguing. What are we to do about it? Do you know the symptoms? Yes, more or less. Excellent. I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, including the symptoms, and we could take some guidance there. Can you read? Yes, I can. Excellent. So follow me to the scriptorium. So, where shall we start? Evidently there's something amiss in the digestive tract. In the what? The digestive tract, Henry. Um, right. <sighs> the trouble lies between the mouth and the arsehole. Uh-huh. Sure. Just so. We can rule nothing out at this stage. You look in the Breviarum to Cygnus Causa. It's a renowned manuscript from Salerno, written by one Johann of St. Paul. But I don't know Latin. Fortunately for you, our brother librarian is translating these momentous medical works into the common tongue, so you can still be of use. Study the breviary carefully and compare the symptoms with the recorded cases. That will guide us. I'll try the proven classics. Avicenna and his Canon Medicinae, and Galen's Magnum Opus, the Ars Medicinalis. Take care. Please. I'll wager that Jerome has taken them out again. Lord, oh Lord, what times we live in. Lord, oh Lord, what times we live in. Hmm. Hmm. Now what have we here? Hmm. Hmm. Now what have we here? I just hmm. won't get any sleep. Hmm. Now what have we here?
Yes, yes, that would make sense. was around here somewhere. I think I have it. Yes? And what do you make of it? It's poisoning from tainted water. Really? That sounds rather unlikely. But if Master Johann of St. Paul's says so, who am I to contradict him? We shall have to prepare some medicine at once. I could help with that. Really? Yes. I know my way around the alchemistic arts. An ordinary fellow who knows the arts of physic? Who would have thought it? Excellent! I'll give you the recipe. And you have my permission to make use of the monastery laboratory. I'll get started right away. I, meanwhile, shall head straight to, uh, where was it again? Merhoyed. Oh, yes, Merhoyed. I'll take Johanka with me. She has no equal in caring for the sick. Once you have the medication ready, hurry after me. Thank you, Brother Nicodemus. Good luck, Brother Nicodemus. And to you, Henry. Take care.
Ja. Please. I won't get any sleep. I just won't get any sleep. Please. Ooh. What will happen to my family? I can't sleep again. Ooh. I can't stay here. Don't stay here.
quiet. I can't stay here. I can't stand it anymore. So, here I am. How are things looking? It doesn't look good at all, my boy. Do you have the potion? Yes, here it is. I'll take four doses, you take the rest, and let's split up. I'll see to the straw family while you deal with Melikar's wife and the rest. They wouldn't let me go near that prisoner. They want him to suffer. Despite his terrible crimes, to treat a fellow mortal soul like that. Perhaps I'll be able to convince them. I promised I'd bring them help, and I've kept my word. They must let me go to him. I hope so, but in the short while I've been here, i found the locals to be rather stubborn. Take care. Not a 
Lord, what are you punishing me for? Go. Go away. Leave me alone. Ah. Huh. I brought some help, as promised. Will you let me see the prisoner? I will let you, I will. Of course I will. My boy, if you've really brought a potion to rid us of this scourge, I'll let you do anything. Ah, whether I've managed to rid you of the scourge, that remains to be seen. It'll take a few days before we know whether the potion worked. I know, but even so, just the fact that someone cares, that means a lot to us. Thanks, Sir Radzig. He's the one who decided to help you. Sir Radzig is a goodly lord. I swear I'll never utter another word against him. Now open up that shed. Good luck to you. Don't speak to me. Make it stop. See you later. Brother, is that you? We have to hitch up the sled. Yes, yes, the sled. Just you drink this and you'll be fine. Is this holy water, brother? It is. Drink some and give it to the others in the house too. Brother Nicodemus will come to check on you. You're back? Yes, and I have something to make you well again. Good Lord above. Thank you for showing us your mercy. Drink this and give it to everyone in the house. I've also brought someone who will take care of you until you get back on your feet. Thank you, good Samaritan. Mama, 
my You're back. Of course. I always keep my word. I don't doubt that naturally. Did you deliver my will? It lies securely in the safekeeping of Father Fabian. What a relief. Don't worry. I brought a remedy from Sasau. Drink this regularly, you and everyone in the house. A remedy? You have hands of gold, pure gold, my boy. God bless you. Mama. Mama. We found out what could be the cause of the affliction. And? You should check where your water's coming from. Nicodemus and I think that it comes down to poisoning. It'd be hard to poison the spring, but what about the well? Good Lord, that's difficult to believe. I have my suspicions. The bastards weren't satisfied with killing young Straw. The fucking bastards! God be with you. Now let's wait and see what happens. Good health to you, sir. How's it looking, Melikar? 
I'm glad to see you, Henry. I'd like to thank you again. Everyone is cured. It's nothing short of a miracle. Oh, that's a relief. You've suffered enough. We've all suffered enough. God's truth. You know, the folk here are truly grateful. They'd have you and Nicodemus canonized if they could. They brought me gifts for the two of you. I wasn't keen on the idea at first. We're not left with much since the livestock died. But since you're here... No, no. I can't possibly accept that. Give it all back, Melikar. With my thanks. That's kind of you. I'm glad you appreciate our situation. Things are tough, all right. I understand. I'm just glad everything turned out well. So am I, lad. So am I. See you later. Welcome back to the land of the living. What? Who are you? Radzi Kobala. Oh, I see. You'll have an easy job with me, boy. How so? I won't give you any problems. That's sensible of you. I'm a sensible man. Only I'd like to get it over quick, and not keep the Rate Executioner busy too long, if you catch my drift. I understand. What do you want to know? Everything. First, tell me who's behind all this. Who do you follow? I follow the coin, lad. We all do. That's not news to me, but who pays the coin? I got my pay from Runt, like all the men in Pribislavitz. And Runt got his money from the chief. And the chief had the coin minted. <laughs> Who's the chief? The bandit leader? Bandit? If he heard you say that, he'd have your head on a spike. That's the kind of man he is. Nobody knows much about him, though. Only that he ain't Czech. So he's a foreigner? German? Don't think so. For sure he ain't Czech. And he's got plenty of coin. I'd stake my neck on it. He's got noble blood in his veins. Judging by how he looks? More by the way he talks. Any man can dress up like nobility, but he spoke all la-di-da like a lord. Where's that chief of yours now? I've no idea. After Privis Lovitz, he ordered us to raid Merhoyed, but he wasn't with us. He went off who knows where. I don't reckon he'll be out of your hair for long, though. So the chief is in command of all these operations? You could say. I'd say you're looking at it all wrong, though. How's that? You ask who's in charge and who answers to who. Only this ain't some noble court. There was all sorts of gangs in Pribislav, it's big and small. Robber barons who had their own brigades calling them my lord, and common footpads who hadn't a pot to piss in. Men came, men went. Lots of squabbles, the occasional murder. Old cronies and old rivals were meeting. You know what I mean? I suppose so. It was one big muddle. The main thing was nobody asked questions. I didn't give a damn who the chief was or what he had in mind or whether he had one ball or two. All I was interested in was the coin. Uh -huh. How did you know about Pribis Lovitz? Who took you there? A fellow by the name of Morgok. We met near Kuttenberg. I was robbing burghers who were fleeing the town from Sigismund's army. We got to talking, and he told me about Pribislavitz. Why did you attack Merhoyed? The chief himself gave us the order. 
I reckon he wanted to show the local lords he was nowhere near finished. So he's planning more raids? The chief's always planning something. Primus Lovitz was only the start. So you knew the coin was counterfeit? Of course I did. I brought those Groshen to Privis Lovitz, along with a few other things. Did you? And where did the forgeries come from? Like, where were they made? I don't know. Some merchant by the name of Menhart gave them to me. We used to meet at the charcoal piles near Rovna, by the crossroads there. As it happens, I'm supposed to be meeting him there about now. So Menhart's waiting there? Might be. Might not. He could have heard what happened in Privis Lovitz and decided not to show. And does this Menhart know where the coin comes from? How should I know? To me, he's just another link in the chain. I deal with him, and I never ask who he deals with. Just like he knows nothing about me. I see. So I suppose there's no point asking you if you know any more about him. It'd be a waste of breath. All he did was give me the coin, and then we went our separate ways. Who else knows about the money? Apart from the chief, Menhart, Runt and me, there was a few others. The men got some real money too with the false stuff. It'd be suspicious if they only had freshly minted coin. You said you used to bring other things. What were they? Letters. Menhart would give them to me for the chief. This time I was taking an answer back to Menhart too. Have you still got that letter? Aye. The yokels round here ain't got much interest in correspondence. Apparently. Give it to me then. I'd be delighted. What were the letters about? If I knew how to read, I wouldn't be trusted to carry letters, would I? I took them from Menhart to the chief and back. And that's all. That's all I need to know for now. For now? For the love of Christ, boy, don't let the executioner interrogate me. I've already told you everything I know. That's for Sir Radzig to judge. Henry, I think old Straw's come for the brigand. Step back from that Eden, young fella. But, but you can't kill me. Not just like that. Shut the fuck up, you weasel. I keep it fucking shut. You don't even get a say. Calm down, Straw. He won't escape justice. After all, he's... Don't stand in my way, Malikar! Let Henry decide. He's the one who saved his life. Let's talk about it. To Alwada! That horse will kill my boy! He won't leave Merah yet alive. Listen to me, Straw. That isn't going to help anyone. You're a decent man, not a killer. Think of your wife. Now where's the justice in that? My boy cut down in his youth. Didn't even have a chance to marry. And that cutthroat swine left walking the earth. Don't worry, he won't escape justice. Surely you don't think Sir Radzig will just let him go? What's Sir Radzig to me? You won't even let me avenge the death of my own son. Take him, then. Take him and leave me with nothing but my grief. I promise you he'll suffer for what he did. Be quiet and go quickly before I change my mind.
Yeah. Yeah. God bless you. What troubles you? May I be of service, my lord? Yes, Henry. Chief Engineer Fafar has been asking for someone reliable to assist him. The Chief Engineer? Is it about Scalettes? In a manner of speaking. 
Master Fafar has, well, evil forebodings. I think he may want to send you to the Scarlet's Mines. Can they really be restored? Everything can be rebuilt with enough will and resources. Well, everything except a man. You'll get the details from Chief Engineer Fafar. For the time being, consider yourself his handyman. Certainly. Where do I find him? Is he here in the castle? Where? Now that's a good question. He ought to be somewhere at Perkstein unless he's gone off to deal with some problem or other. Look around. You're bound to run into him. Well, thank you. I'll go and see him straight away. Good luck, Hal. God be with you. I've returned from Merhoyed, sir. How does it look there? I brought them help from the monastery. Brother Nicodemus and Yahanka from Skalitz. Fortunately, Nicodemus was able to cure the disease. Well, at least what he's doing looks promising so far. Thank Christ. Some good news for a change. What about the captive? Did you question him? He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? Fortunately, he survived and I had a chance to question him. What did you find out? He was transporting the false coins to Pribislavitz. He got them from some merchant called Menhart. I don't know him. Neither do I. But I know where the money's handed over. It's not far from Rovna, and this Menhart should be waiting there about now. Excellent, Henry. We mustn't let this opportunity slip through our fingers. You go there and put pressure on this Menhart to tell us what he knows. Don't go yet. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Goodbye. You haven't disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. At least not without beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. You're a godsend, lad. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Yes, sir. Sir. What is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge, over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian. But long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look at the pampered ones who have no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. Tribulations spawn in life over and over again. We must stand our ground and face them. So, I go to Sasso and solve this one. Hmm? You can rely on me, sir. Good luck, son. <laughs> <laughs>